it because in learning more about you, there is every reason to love the woman um, who stands behind the pageantry and who stands behind the um, the, the, the the beauty title that 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 Miss World and the Miss World franchise uh, gives to you. There is so much brains and brawn and so much purpose, beauty so much with brawn. a <laughs> exactly you know beauty with a purpose. I think that that is your cause and that also sums up. Um, if, uh, if anybody takes the time to get to know you, that that pretty much sums up exactly who you are. You are in fact beauty with a purpose, and that beauty beauty has nothing to do with the external but everything emanating out of you the external is just a bonus and it's just a treat to everybody else who inter interacts with you so tell us about firstly beauty with a purpose thank you so much <laughs> well the whole point of the beauty with a purpose platform is to give back to society in some way the Miss World organization and myself see it as incredibly important to do something for the community in which you live and to be engaged with your local community which is why my the charity project that I have developed is the Purple Pine Foundation and we're in a partnership with an organization founded by Marie Cole Thrust and it's been going on since 2014 which seeks to help children who have been marginalized or who are unable to attend mainstream schooling for a variety of different reasons. So some of the children that we work with have had cancer or are in the process of undergoing chemotherapy for cancer. So they're in and out of the country and they're not able to attend a standardized schooling system. Also some of the children have autism or are on the autistic spectrum. And some children are severely psychologically traumatized as a result of bullying on the basis of their sexual orientation or their gender identity. So what all these kids have in common is that they need individualized care and learning. And there are about 15 kids and prior to our involvement, they were all studying together in one room, one tiny room of a small house in Maraval. And we were able to come on board to find a lovely new property for them, which is in Dago Martin, which we're in the process of renovating. So the projected opening date of that is the end of September with a beautiful official launch for all of our lovely sponsors on the 5th of October. And I'm encouraging all members of Trinidad and Tobago, the wider society, to be involved, to sponsor us, to get to know me and the charity project and, of course, the kids that we're dealing with subject to privacy concerns of course of course couple questions arising out of what you've just said first of all um you can contribute or we can contribute to this cause financially by by assisting with sponsorship if i am not in a position to sponsor financially how can i as a citizen of trinidad and tobago assist with your cause I think two points about that. First of all, it doesn't matter what your donation is, big or small, we appreciate every little bit of help. And secondly, we we accept a lot of items. We're looking for books, tables, chairs. If you just have a kid's book at home that maybe your niece has read before or your children have read before and you'd like to give that to us, by all means, give it to me because I'm responsible in particular for the library, for the foundation. That's what I really love. I love reading. I'm an ambassador for a wonderful charity called For the Love of Reading, TT. And that's always been kind of my passion. So I've taken special charge of that and I'm looking in particular for books. But I mean, in addition to books, there are lots of other items. We need anything and everything you can imagine children might need. Um, utensils for the kitchen, um, couches, maybe a desk, chairs, anything at all. So if there's anything you think remotely someone might need to set up a foundation or to be working with children, get in touch. And you can message me on Instagram, on Facebook, on my email address. It's all all available. I'm delighted that you touched on your love for reading because I am also a follower of For the Love of Reading on their Instagram page. And um, I was delighted when I saw photos of you starting to pop up on their uh, social media feed and you were promoting uh, For the Love of Reading. You were all, you've also done some promotion for uh, Alta as well. Um, and that got me thinking, you know, I thought, okay, so you're coming into studio 
you this morning. Um, how can I uh, help you with this? Um, how can I? How can I help or how can I contribute in in this manner? And since you liked reading, and I fell in love with who you are as a person when I read all of your information and all of your profile, I think this book title oh. sort of sort of describes how I feel about you now that I've gotten to know you. Oh, I, that's so sweet. <laughs> I, I am now officially. I am now officially hashtag hooked on Isabel.